Closing a church or even combining one parish with another. The Catholic Church across central Illinois may soon be changing, and you can help guide the decision making. Good Monday evening. I'm Todd Lopez. And I'm Amber Kriska. Thank you for joining us. Brett Brooks caught off with Bishop Tilka, who says he's most concerned about his parishioners and understands this change could affect where many go to church. She joins us live in the studio with a story. Brett? Amber and Tyler, there are more than 130,000 Catholics, men, women, and children underneath the Diocese of Peoria. And it stretches across central Illinois from the border of Iowa to the border of Indiana. Now, with fewer members than before, it is leading to a proposal from the church to combine some of the parishioners and parishes in towns with smaller congregations. And Bishop Louis Tilka says the move is needed to save resources. As we look to the future, we know that there are going to be difficult decisions that are necessary for us to undertake because we live in a very different world. Bishop Louis Tilka recorded this message in May of this year for his parishioners. Now, consolidation is on the table. I am very concerned about our, our parishioners. The Diocese of Peoria makes up 26 counties with 155 parishes. Currently, there are 125 active priests. But Bishop Tilka says that number could drop. In the year 2050, we believe that we will only have between 65 and 80 priests to serve our diocese. There's going to be sadness. Uh, certainly, I know some people are going to be angry. Um, we're going to have to grieve uh, uh, the loss of what is known. Um, but we also have to be very hopeful of what is to come. And uh, what is to come is renewal. When he sat down with us, Bishop Tilka says, with the community's input, he is hoping that they can better use the church's resources. We are looking to, to in some cases, merge the parishes. Uh, in some cases, we'll have to close parishes. Um, and in some cases, the parishes as they exist today are not going to see any change. Uh, but we're trying to figure out what is the best solution in each scenario of our different models that will best serve the mission of the church. According to the timetable, this month there are a series of meetings being held and a survey is due by the end of November. A decision will be announced by Pentecost and over the next two years, the new structure will begin. Knowing that uh, we want to be able to grow for the future, but in order to do that, uh, we have the challenges of moving from just a maintenance mode to a mission mode. Now, there is a map of the new parishes, and it was just released for the members to review. The deadline to submit your feedback and ideas is Wednesday, November 22nd. Both the map and the feedback form is available on our website, 25newsnow.com.